Okay, fourth graders, it's time to take notes on lesson 7.9. Today we're going to be adding fractions using properties of addition. So, let's review those properties of addition first. Let's take a look. It says, the associative and commutative properties of addition can help you group in order, group in order, add-ins to find sums mentally. You can use mental math to combine fractions that have a sum of one. This is our goal today. Look, to combine fractions that have a sum of one. Please write this down. This is going to make our lives so much easier when adding large fractions. Okay, so check it out. The commutative property of addition states that when we order two add-ins, when the order of two add-ins is changed, the sum is the same. For example, 4 plus 5 is equal to 5 plus 4. They just changed the order that they were in. So when I think of commutative property, I think of order. Now let's check out the associative property. The associative property of addition states that when the grouping of add-ins is changed, the grouping is changed, the sum is the same. For example, 5 plus 8 plus 4 is equal to 5 plus 8 plus 4. The only thing that changed was how they grouped them, what they wanted to add first and second. So when I think of associative property of addition, I think of grouping. Okay, and you group numbers using those parentheses. So let's use both of those properties today and remember our goal. We want to look for fractions that when we combine them, they make a sum of one. Here we go. Ooh, check out this map near the Gulf of Mexico. The map shows four lighthouses in the Florida Keys and their distances apart in miles. The Dry Tortugas Lighthouse is the farthest west Mark that there. And the Alligator Reef Lighthouse is the farthest east. What is the distance from the Dry Tortugas Lighthouse to the Alligator Reef Lighthouse traveling between the four lighthouses? Hmm. Well, we'd have to add up all of these fractions that they give us. And that's exactly what they have lined up here. So now we're going to use the properties to order and group. Now, remember our goal. Look at these mixed numbers. Look at the fraction part of them. Which two of these fractions could we combine to make one whole? Hopefully you found them. I'm looking at the 5 tenths and the 5 tenths. You add those together and you'd get 10 tenths or one whole. So the first thing I want to do is write those two mixed numbers so they're right next to each other. So in the first blank I would write 70 and 5 tenths. The next blank I would write 34 and 5 tenths. And then the last one I would write, oops I kind of crossed that one out, the last one I would write would be 43 and 6 tenths. Now, all I did was change the order. And that is commutative property, right? Just to change the order. Now, I'm going to use the associative property to group them together how I want, right? Just to follow our goal of combining to make a sum of 1. So, again, I'm just going to write 70 and 5 tenths, 34 and 5 tenths, and I'm going to have those grouped together because I want to add those first, and then the 43 and 6 tenths. Now, I put the parentheses around the 70 and 5 tenths and the 34 and 5 tenths because I want to add them first because those two fractions make a sum of one. So if you think, over on the side here, 70 plus 34 and then 
5 tenths and 5 tenths make 1. If we add all those up, 0 plus 4 is 4, plus 1 is 5, 7 plus 3 is 10. So really, these two added together is 105. Now we still got to bring down our lonely mixed number over here, 43 and 6 tenths. Now we have to add 105 and 43. Five plus three is eight, zero plus four is four, one plus nothing is one. So it would be a hundred and forty-eight, don't forget the fraction, and six tenths. Right? So we let's review. We use the commutative property to reorder them, right, to make our goal of putting those fractions that can make a sum of one together. Then we use the associative property to group them how we want and then we just add it after that. So let's try another one. It says use the properties in mental math to solve. Show each step and name the property used. Oh, okay, so let's name it as we go. Now take a look. 1 and 1 third plus 2 plus 3 and 2 thirds. Do you see two fractions that you could combine to make a sum of one? I do. I see one-third and two-thirds. I know one-third plus two-thirds would be three-thirds, which is equivalent to one. So the first thing I want to do is make sure I put these two mixed numbers next to each other. So let's rewrite it as one and one-third plus... 3 and 2 thirds, yes, now they're next to each other, plus 2. So now that we rearranged them, right, that's the commutative property, am I spelling that right? Let's double check. C-O-M-M-U-T-A-T. -M -M nope. So that was the commutative property, just rearranging them. Now I want to group them differently. So I want to group this one and one third plus this three and two thirds together. Because I want to add that first to make a sum of one. And the two is lonely on the outside. So first, oh, we got to name that property. That was associative property, regrouping, right? So now let's look. 1 and 1 third plus 3 and 2 thirds. 1, you know, 1 plus 3 is 4. 1 third plus 2 thirds is 3 thirds, which is equivalent to 1. So 4 plus 1 is 5. And then we just add that 2. Don't forget about it. 5 plus 2 is 7. That's our final answer. Let's just do one more. Here we go. Complete and name the property used. So, what's our main goal? Well, it's to find the fractions that you could combine to make a sum of one. So, let's look right here. Where are the two fractions we could combine to make one? Ah, found them. Four tenths and six tenths. I know that would make 10 tenths, which is the same as one. So over here, we wanna rewrite it. So this four tenths and six tenths are together. So they've helped us out a little bit. They wrote this one here, right? This one here, what do I ne want next to that four tenths? That six tenths, right? So let's write the six tenths right there. That is rearranging them, right? So it's commutative property. Now I'm going to group them differently. 
That's the associative property. Now, I'm going to add what we have here in the parentheses first. Well, 3 is the whole number, but 4 tenths plus 6 tenths I know is the same as 1 whole. So 3 plus 1 is 4. 5 and 2 tenths plus 4, well, 5 plus 4 is 9, and then the 2 tenths. There we go. So, your practice problems. You have two practice problems. Here's your first one. And notice, we are asking you to name the properties, right? When you rearrange them, when you reorder them, that's commutative. When you regroup them, you group them differently with the parentheses, that's associative. Please label them. So there's your first problem. Here's your second one. Oops. There we go. So that's your second problem. Make sure you name the properties as you use them. Have a good night.